If you don't have a long tape measure, you can make a trundle wheel to measure distances in the metre range very accurately. If you're measuring how far a glider flies or a model car rolls, a trundle wheel is an ideal measuring tool. The circumference or the distance round the edge of your wheel must be 1 metre. You can divide 100 by pi, which is about 3.1415, to work out the diameter and the radius, which is just under 16 centimetres. You can use a piece of string to mark a very accurate circle. Put a loop in one end and measure just under 16 centimetres. With loops tied at both ends, you're ready to mark a 1 metre circumference circle. Use a pencil and a pin or a screwdriver on a piece of cardboard big enough. With the loop string pulled tight, mark out the circle. To make our trundle meal more accurate, we should mark every 10 centimetres around the circumference. Make another piece of string 10 centimetres long. You can use your 10 centimetre string to divide the 100 centimetre circumference into 10 segments. Mark the centimetre distances all around the edge. You can do this on both sides. To complete your trundle wheel, you'll need an arm and an axle that lets the trundle wheel spin. This design uses folded cardboard and a nut and bolt. Once your wheel is connected to your arm, you're ready to start using your trundle wheel. Or we start measuring from your zero mark. Each full revolution is one metre. You can work out the extra distance using the 10 centimetre scale. So there you go, your own homemade one metre trundle wheel and you can use this for lots of distance measuring experiments.